Hi, my name is Sun Yu. I'm going to be briefing about all seatbelt legislation in New York State. The leading cause of deaths in young Americans under 50 years old is motor vehicle crash. Because of that, over 33,000 people were killed in 2009, and over 2.2 million were injured in, in 2009. Over 50% of them were not wearing seatbelts, so it seems, it seems to be very important to have um, seatbelt. Seatbelts actually relieve the shock by absorbing the force of impact. It prevents passengers from hitting hard objects or being ejected from the vehicle. It prevents serious injury and death. Seatbelt in the rear seat also is very important. Uh, without seatbelt in the rear seat, there is a three times more likely being killed and eight times more likely being seriously injured. And unstrained passengers in the rear seat would hit the driver or other passenger in the front seat, like this. Well, as you see here, um, the passenger without seatbelt hit the driver in the front, and while the passenger in the uh, with a um, with a seatbelt securely tied it in the seat in the rear in in the rear seat. There are many reasons not to wear seatbelt: forgetting, driving short distance, discomfort, having not to wear, and the procession. Uh, the wearing seatbelt is not necessary. And 40% of them actually answer that they don't wear a seatbelt because there is no regulation requiring it. There are two seatbelt laws in the United States, uh, primary belt law and secondary belt law. In primary belt law, police officer can stop and ticket a motorist if the driver or passengers are not buckled up. In secondary belt law, police officer cannot stop and ticket a motorist for the failure where uh, fear failure to wear a seatbelt, but they can ticket for not to wear a seatbelt if the driver is caught for other violation like speeding or changing uh, changing a lane without signal. The current New York State has primary belt law with backseat exemption, so police can police can um, stop and ticket the driver um, not to wear a seatbelt, but the Passengers in the rear seat don't have to wear seatbelt. Uh, they're not gonna, gonna be uh, ticketed for the reasons. Um, the, as of 2016, the rate of a seatbelt use in New York is 91.8%. It is 1.7% higher than national average, 90.1% in 2016. We have three highest um, the seatbelt use stage in, in 2016. California, Oregon, and Washington. Uh, California has 96.5%, Oregon has 96.2%, and Washington State has 94.7% of use of seatbelt. They all have a primary seatbelt without uh, seatbelt exemption, taxes, taxes uh, exemption. We uh, also have a three lowest states in 2016, New Hampshire, South Dakota, and Missouri. South Dakota has 70.2% of use, and South, I mean, New Hampshire have 70.2% of use, South Dakota has 74.2% of use, Missouri has 76.0%. Uh, New Hampshire has no regulation of a seatbelt, and South Dakota and Missouri have a secondary belt law with backseat exemption. As you will see so far, um, if we ha we have a, mo a more strict regulation of a seatbelt, there is a in there is a higher rate of seatbelt use. So changes to primary belt law without backseat exemption would increase the further rate of belt uh, belt uh, belt law uh, a seatbelt use. So it is very necessary to change current New York State uh, seatbelt law to primary belt law without backseat exemption. Thank you.